we are here at uh, Living Tomorrow with more than 100 executives. Executives who are dealing with the changes of this digital world. And therefore we invited a number of top speakers and very provocative thinkers. My keynote was about information security and how you can make it into a competitive differentiator instead of just something that you have to spend money on. So the importance for CIOs is that sooner or later, your company will have an information security incident. It's inevitable. What matters is what you do when that happens. My key note was about uh, autonomous cars uh, in a public transport area. This can be a really a huge event and even be disruptive in our sector as we think an autonomous car can be really changed and adapt and even eventually solve a lot of our mobility issues. Many persons are afraid of robots because there are numbers that say that 47% of our jobs will be taken by robots. So maybe it's a curse, but I think if we take it on well, then robots can be a blessing because we have a number of societal challenges, like for example in the aging society, the rising healthcare costs, where robots can have a positive impact on it. I think the whole space around robotics will become very interesting for the future not just in, in the traditional spaces where you would think about physiotherapists learning you to walk again, but it might become people that deliver you a drink. You've seen one of the robots in a restaurant actually, and this is for me breakthrough, being, being part of a beverage company is really something that we should think about. I was really talking about the critical nature of how the CIO needs to get embedded into this social conversation to understand the culture and I also talked about the importance of attracting talent and the labour shortage and how we need to really evolve a whole organisation into being a social organisation. C'est sûrement important un événement comme celui-ci parce que les CIO ressortent de ceci avec plein d'informations sur ce qui se passe actuellement, sur les grandes tendances euh, du futur et ça aide. D'abord ça, ça donne de la joie, ça donne je trouve du pep de savoir tout ce qui se passe et puis ça aide à, à trouver les orientations bien sûr. The digital agenda is about an economic opportunity. It's about a source of growth, a source of prosperity, and especially a source of, uh, of new jobs. And so the whole question is, what do we need to do in Belgium to get the biggest share of that economic uh, opportunity? So the digital agenda is about making every European digital, giving digital technology, the possibilities of digital technology to every European, to any company, but also to public administrations, to make the best of digital. And that makes, of course, the investing in infrastructure, investing in skills, and also the good framework conditions for uh, making digital technology possible in Europe. If we look at the impact of digital on, on public services, we see on the one hand the expectation level of our customers' society as a whole rising. On the other hand, we also see that the possibilities for public services to offer more integrated services uh, are tremendous. We have a number of topics we want to work on. One is uh, high-speed internet, of course. One is to um, help uh, web shops and others to be more uh, competitive. Another one is about uh, digital skills. And then uh, the last one is about uh, cybersecurity. Digital has the potential to uh, change business models and potentially disrupt business models. As such, every company should have its digital strategy. I think we have a long way to go in Belgium in making sure that we elevate uh, the population and that we attract youngsters to, uh, to, to studying IT and to, to working in IT in companies. Mm -hmm.